We got some. Yes. All right, guys. Good morning, everybody. Dar sizzle and put in behind the camera this morning. We are up here in shore fishing in beautiful Stuart, Florida. Ugh. We just loaded the cast net, baby, with a nice mixture of all different size uh, mullet. I can't talk. There's also a bunch of little size pilchards I saw in there. Heck yeah. That's how you do it, finally. One and done on dozens of baits there. I'll be right back. I gotta get these baits in the well. And Stuart Live Bait hooked us up too. Yeah. All right, great job, Dust Dizzle. Yeah, I also wanted to thank Stuart Live Bait for hooking us up on some pilchards we got, and then we went ahead and threw the cast net to get all different sizes of the mullet you just saw there. <laughs> Very excited. The day hasn't, we haven't caught fish yet. Actually, I've caught dozens. Dozens and what dozens. What am I talking about? <laughs> Killing it. Killing it. Right. And this video is brought to you by Hair Club, Club. and uh, we got out, we're on the second half of the outgoing tide, and so we gotta get fishing. Yeah, it's all time right, to go. fish, guys. Woo! Pulling some drag now. Oh, he's wrapped. Crap. Help me. I want his gills to break it off. Woohoo! All right. We got a fish in the boat, and it's a keeper fish. How freaking awesome! All right, guys, not bad at all. Uh, we've been putting in some work this morning to find some fish. And again, you saw me catch all those bait in the cast net. We got those pilchards. And then we decided to hit up Snook Nook and get some shrimp. And you know why? Because this is a time of the year where you time, it's time to shrimp. Um, everything inshore in the winter here in Florida eats shrimp. This guy is all wrapped up. Just give me one second. Woo. He kind of got lassoed as he was fighting me there. All right, you can see him right here. That is a nice fish for the start of the year for me. My first sheep's head of the winter time season can't pick him up you get the hang of picking these guys back up again but he matches my necklace as well you can see my awesome uh, beautiful sterling silver nautical necklace that's available on the website looks so cool and he looks exactly like my necklace nice fish on the pilings crab traps that's exactly what we're fishing with these shrimp let me show you exactly what I'm fishing and how I'm doing this today so I'm using these little Yellowtail jigs, you would call them, or crusher jigs. They have different size weights on there. I'm using a very small one. I think this is 132 ounce. And I'm taking this little jig, taking the fresh shrimp that we just got, which actually he just, that's the shrimp he just ate, but I'm gonna re rig it for you. Take the live shrimp, just cut them right in half with your fingers, pinch them together, then take your hook, run it through the meat, and then run it up through the head area, and you're gonna fish it just like that. And pitch it out, again, by docks, structure, bridges. We're doing pilings and crab traps right now. And second piling of the day, just caught the sheep's head just like that. This is also rigged with a loop knot here. Actually, he messed up my loop knot pretty good. And I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Nice and simple, nice light, ultra light rig here. Show you my rod is behind, put in. I'm using a uh, Tsunami Airwave. Uh, nothing special about it, I love these little rods. And it's paired with a new Shimano Van Ford. This is the 3000. Also want to give a special shout out and thank you to Hair Club. They just sent me a bunch of brand new coolers. We're gonna get this right in the cooler and get them iced down. We actually got our lunch in there as well. Uh, but great, awesome coolers, thanks to Hair Club. Now let's see if we can get on some more fish. But it just goes to show you that you need varieties of different bait out here some days where they don't want mullet or pilchers, but everything will eat a shrimp. So let's get back on it, guys. Yeah, good point, our sizzle, and throwing me under the bus there. But uh, sheep says not gonna bite a pilcher or a mullet, so you just gotta have a, you know you gotta be ready for whatever happens out here. So that was great. Yeah, and you can fish artificials too, but you know sometimes yeah, the, you know you want to also use live bait because live bait's better. But we fished those pilchers and mullet all morning. Right. Yeah. So and, and during the winter, man, we'll just kill it with shrimp all all all, all winter. Now. Gotta make sure the landing net's ready. <laughs> ready to go for the next fish. Oh, you hooked up? Well, you got on a sheep's head. Action. Come here. Those are nice ones. Watch my rod. Sorry. Bring them right here. Nice. Woohoo. Redemption. I think mine's way bigger. I told you. It is way bigger. Is it? Yeah. It's pretty big. Yeah. Nice How big do these got to be, Sizzle? 12. I Whoa, believe. this is a monster. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. It is a nice one. You got a big head. That's what she said. I was about to, 
Not to me, not to me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's a nice dark one and with a big old head on him. With their horse teeth. I need to stop. <laughs> Men need to get their minds out of the gutter. Woo! Good job. I got him, Sizzle, don't worry. You're using a really heavy leader. I'm using 30 pounds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now, you know, your leader is going to depend on all kinds of different circumstances. I saw some dude on Reddit the other day. He was like, uh, you know, what leader should I use? It depends on the day. Our water today is like mud. Uh, it's really rainy. I mean, it's really windy. Yeah. And so these these fish can't tell what the leader is going to be. So, I mean, I'm using 30 pounds. Not, that's not that heavy. Usually in shore fishing, a 30 pound is like the go-to. But, you know, you can go down to 20. And uh, offshore, we usually start at 40. Hooked him perfect. Yeah, it sucks so good I can't get it out. I got it, baby. All right. Oh, let me bring it over here so you can see the fish a little better. Back to back. There you go. Look at the chompers. Can you see those chompers? I'll get a close up. The fish with human teeth. I'll bring it. I'll bring the camera around this way so you can see. There you go. The fish nice with... fish. And give this. Whoa! He almost That's went so out. Terrible. He, he did almost go out. There you can see those chompers. <laughs> fish you, can you see them? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, the, so they use those to bite the barnacles off the off the walls and pylons, and so they have really tough mouths. So, fish with human teeth, pretty gross. But nice fish. Oh, nice. I think it's a jack, but he hit that nice. Oh, it's a nice snapper. Dude, he hit that hard. I'm shocked. Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! Look at that. He actually inhaled that bait. He'll keep. That is not a bad inshore snapper right there. A mangrove? Yeah, beautiful mangrove. He actually hit that so hard, it was shocked. I thought he was a lot bigger. But he honestly just felt him tap, tap, tap my bait. Look at him doing his snap. That's just, that's why they're called a snapper. Woo! That's how you get bit. <laughs> I had many stories my dad told me back in the day of getting bit by these things and they don't let go once they bite you. That's Let's why see. they're called the snapper. Heck no. You want to do it? No. Heck no. They've got, look at those teeth right there. Yeah. The rows of, see that? <laughs> He's talking. All right. So once again, this shrimp does a great job. We got a keeper, delicious mangrove snapper in the boat and he inhaled it, but that's okay. We're going to keep them. So. All right, we have a major rainstorm coming. Ah! You guys see that? It's even more gnarly, but yeah, to the you, north, it's, way over that it's beautiful, and this is just headed right for us. So we'd like to inform you right now that we've tried everything, won everything. It's all about Helly Hansen. HH. Don't bother. HH. Go spend $250, $300 on a raincoat, and you'll have it for the rest of your life, and it'll be actually waterproof. Yeah. They're expensive, but... They're expensive, but they're the best. Worth it. We, we have all the other crap. My stormer jacket went to crap. Not sponsored. Not, spo not sponsored. They wouldn't. They don't think they don't they I'm not sure anybody. who they sponsor. Maybe yeah. the America's Cup. But. They don't sponsor anybody, I think. Yeah. Ridiculous. This is my new heli. My new heli is what I say now because I'm half fancy. I like it, heli. People are going to be like, what the heck are you talking about? Boom. I'm going to put my pants on. These are stormer pants. Actually, leftovers. Darcy has heli pants. And those are not waterproof. There we go. These are mostly waterproof. Supposed to be waterproof, but they're not. The pants. We are back at the house, guys, and there was tons of crazy rain out there the rest of the day. It ended up just pouring, like just right in Stewart, but in our south where we live, there was no rain. And today's the next day, obviously, but it's a little chillier today because we had a cold front push through. So I'm just getting my knife nice and sharp because of course, especially with sheep's head, you want it extra, extra sharp because they're so tough to clean. A lot of people like to use electric knives and all that stuff and you don't need that. But let's go ahead and pull them out of the, out of the hair club cooler right here. I think this is Brian's fish, put in his fish right here. And before I get into filleting him, just want to tell you really quick about an awesome hair club 
giveaway going on right now where you could win a Darcizzle hair care prize pack. And everything in here, you're gonna win. It's super easy to enter. You guys have to do this in the next 24 hours because it's ending very soon. Click the link down below, okay? But you're gonna win first off this awesome hair club beach bag. Then you're gonna get the shirts that we were wearing on the bottom, the, the water. Awesome performance shirts. You're also going to get a wireless, uh, a wireless and waterproof scalp massager. But this is really awesome, and you can use it in the shower. I freaking love this thing. You also get the hair club visor that I'm wearing, the hair club and our sizzle slash buff, and last but not least, you get the prize pack right here, plus that beach bag, like I said. But in here, you get this awesome kit that I use on a regular basis, okay? Just to make your hair awesome, men and women alike, this is for you. All right, so no reason not to enter the giveaway, guys. Super easy, and you can also sign up for additional entries to give yourself a better chance of winning. So I'm gonna link all that information down below, but you get this beautiful bag and all that awesome stuff, so pretty cool of Hair Club. Um, and once again, that information will be right down below for you guys to check out. Let's dive right into this fish. Going into my go-to seven inch blade here. And with sheep's head, very tough, but what I like to do is go right behind the pec fin here and just go in between those gills make your cut, go up to the head. And if you just angle it down at an angle, you're gonna get past all those scales instead of going straight on, you're gonna dull your blade. So we just made that cut nice and easy. And I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys think I hold the knife really weird. I'm left-handed, so this looks a really weird to a lot of you guys. Um, so then you just get underneath there. Up here, there's kind of like a slit right by the dorsal fin that you can go underneath. And then just follow your knife all the way down cut through, and then just like any other fish, you flay them off. But you can see how white this meat is. It's been a while since I've had sheep's head. Sorry about the plane, guys. Go over the bones right here, go back down. They do have a really big head and a really big rib cage area, and that protrudes pretty far. You'll see it right there, how far it sticks out. So you don't really get as much meat as you might think you do, but again, that's a keeper fish, no complaints. There you go. Delicious white meat, same exact thing with the blade. Just take it, go underneath the skin. And he is done. A Little bit of flesh red light right there. You can take it out. I don't think it's the end of the world. You could just eat around that once it's cooked. Something like that. And that way you keep the fillet intact. Flip it over, get those pin bones out. And that's ready to go. All right, delicious meat right there. So I'm gonna finish up the other side of this fish and the other fish in the cooler, as well as that mangrove I have. And then we'll meet you guys in the house for the cooking and put in portion of this video. We're making a, he's making a brand new sauce. Thanks a lot, Dar Sizzle. Thanks for cleaning up that uh, sheep's head. She also cleaned up that mangrove. But welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin. And boy, I really did us today. I, I did myself today. I have cooked a delicious meal. We are having, I can't even pronounce it, Louisiana Cajun Ponchatran, Ponchatron sauce on this delicious fish with a side of shrimp cocktail. And these shrimps are delicious. I even put them in a sauce. Quick business. That's why I mentioned Dorothy's website. I know we're gonna be drilling into you guys and it's gonna be annoying. Christmas is coming up. I would love for you guys to order anything you want on the website. The jewelry, the bracelets, the beautiful necklaces, the autograph eight by tens, the stickers, the apparel, the calendars, which are now on pre-order. If you guys order right away or soon, sooner rather than later, that I really have Darcy out because she hand makes all this stuff. She hand ties the bracelets. She signs the autographs, okay? Does it all. So get your orders in early and uh, that would be very helpful. Let's get to dinner. All right, let me start with the sauce. I got it right here. The sauce started out with mushrooms. A little bit of butter in the pan, soften up the mushrooms. Then I added my shrimp. I boiled this shrimp just so I could have this delicious, uh, we had some over the, yesterday and the shrimp cocktail. So the shrimp was already cooked when I put it in here. Probably not totally proper. I'm supposed to cook the shrimp in the pan. So, but anyway, we got that all cooked up. Take that out of the pan into a bowl. Then back in the pan, we got butter. We got cream. 
We got a little bit of salt and pepper, whatever you want to do. And I put some crushed garlic in there. Call the garlic powder. I put crushed, all right? Heat it up nice. And that is looking delicious. Touch this, look at on this. You see that? Now, you can see those mushrooms and that shrimp. Now the shrimp, I forgot to tell you, where's the shrimp from? I don't know if you guys remember, but Darcy said we got a lot of delicious snook, delicious shrimp from the snook nook. The manager down there, Alex, he's new. He's doing a great job. They got all kinds of improvements, ton of stock. Go down there and get your shrimp and buy some other gear. Every time I go there, I buy a rod. It's for no reason, it's ridiculous. Uh, so we're using our bait shop shrimp. That's right, I'm eating shrimp bait cocktail and we got shrimp bait <laughs> in the sauce to the fish. I'm trying to get through this for you guys. The fish, when I do a sauce like this, nice delicious butter sauce with the mushrooms, I like to cook the fish in olive oil. So got olive oil in the pan, I heat the pan up for five minutes. That way I can use a little bit higher heat, I can get some crunchies on the side of the fish. So you can see the fish here when I turn it over, I got some crunchies on here. All right, we're ready to the plate, let's go. I got a plate right here. Let's move the shrimp cocktail out of the way. First off, I'm gonna start off with one of Darcy's favorite vegetables. We got roasted broccoli. Sizzle, I'm just gonna throw some broccoli on here for you. Actually, this will be my plate. So we got some broccoli. This is just olive oil and salt and pepper, and then we throw it in the oven and you cook it as long as you like. All right. Now, let's get to the fish. It's delicious. It's delicious. We got mangrove and sheep's head, some of the best fish you can have. Now, here's the sauce. Now, the last ingredient in this sauce is gonna be the acid. Why haven't I not put the acid in yet? Acid, any great chef will tell you, like Chef Puddin, that acid disintegrates or degrades over time as you cook it. So I've been simmering this, getting nice and thick. So you don't wanna put the acid until the end, otherwise it's gonna evaporate, or just, it's gonna disintegrate and not be strong acid. It's not gonna do what you wanna do. So we're just gonna put a little in there, and just so we can taste, we'll stir it up. That's delicious, you don't want more than that? Here we go, Sizzle, let's watch this. Oh, are you looking at this? Get in here close. It's beautiful, another great job by Chef Puddin. If you cool the sauce down a little bit, it'll probably get a little thicker. All right, guys, I'm excited to eat. I'm starving, we've been filming and working all day. Let's, we're gonna have Darcy do her plate, then we're gonna see you at the table for the taste test. All right, Darcy. Woo! Yeah. Now, I'm starving. I think anything's gonna taste good. <laughs> well, one. thanks. Well, Darcy, taste that. Let me tell you about sheep's head. I know you guys always ask, what's it look like? What's it taste like? And I know a lot of you eat a lot of sheep's head, and everyone knows it's delicious. Okay. White meat. I'd say medium firm. Flakes right off. It's delicious, and of course, mangrove snapper is one of the best fish you can eat. So, and you can use this recipe for any kind of snapper, even mahi, all kinds of stuff. So, it, I've tasted it already. What does Darcy think? It's delicious. It's amazing. Very, very good. And I think the sauce should be part of our like normal routine these days because it's freaking really good. It's not. I mean, it's not thick sauce either, so it goes perfectly with the veggies too. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing video, amazing recipe. Put in did a great job. Chef Put in did a great job cooking it up. Thank you guys for joining us on this adventure today. Thank you for watching. And until our next one, follow, follow your dream. dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching, catching, baby. I think you got a. He needs a better song. I didn't work on it. <laughs> you didn't so, work yeah. on it. I forget about Fail. working on it until the next end of video. Fail. <laughs> yum yum gobble gobble.